everybody, it's Coach Becky here from Mini Hops Gymnastics in Plymouth, Minnesota. And we are here today to go over your hurdle and your handstand for vault. So at this time, I know some of you guys aren't able to get into the gym. So we're just gonna go through what we would normally do in a circuit. Um, and you can do this along with me. So what you'll need is a big open space like I've got here. I'm using my living room. Um, and some tools that might be helpful are today I have, I'm using a jump rope, um, a hula hoop, and I had one other thing. Oh, potentially a dice. So if you have a dice, um, we're going to use the dice to tell us um, how many times we're going to do the activity. So get your stuff. Um, you can always pause this video if you don't have those things and grab them and then come on back. Um, FYI, as you can see over here, you might see some of my furry roommates running around in the background trying to do our gymnastics with us. They're still learning, and so are we. So um, you might see them in there as well. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to warm up for our hurdle. So we're just going to warm up with some jumping jacks. One, two, three, let's do ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Awesome. All right, we're going to warm up that body. So for our hurdle, what is a hurdle? Do you guys know? Tell me if you know. But if you don't, a hurdle is when we go from one foot and land on two feet for vault. So if I scooch back here, it's kind of hard to see my feet when I'm that close. I'm going to go from one foot to two feet. That is also called an assemble in dance. So we have a hurdle for vault and an assemble are two very similar um, uh, skills that we can do. All right, to warm up, we are gonna start off with some galloping. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna roll the dice. All right, and I got five. So we are gonna do our galloping five times. So I have this hula hoop set up here and I'm gonna do my galloping around that hula hoop. I'm gonna do two times on my right leg and three times on my left leg. That will be a total of five times. All right, here we go, guys. So get your right leg forward first, and we're going to gallop. I have my arms out, nice and big, but you can have your arms here if you want. Here's our second round, and we're going to switch feet. Two more. one. All right, that was it for galloping. Next, we have small hops. Let's roll that dice again. Woo! Oh my gosh, guys, this is my lucky number today. I got five again. So, we are going to hop around um, on single leg. You're going to hop around five times. So, let's switch it up this time. Let's do three on our right leg and two on our left leg. All right, here we go. Get your right leg ready. And we're gonna hop. One. Two. If you can't hop for that long, that's okay. If your leg gets tired, you can put your other one down and rest for a second. That was three for me on my right leg. Now I'm gonna switch to my left leg. We're trying two. If you can do it for how old you are, you are awesome. If you can do it for more than how old you are, that's even awesomer. So have that be your goal. Ready? One. And two. Awesome. That was a total of how many guys? It was a total of two on our left, three on our right, four, five. All right, guys, next we have skipping. Let's see if we get five again. Oh, we didn't. We got three. All right, peoples. So for skipping, you are going to do a hop on one leg, land on the same leg, and step on the other foot. So step and a hop, step and a hop. All right, here we go. Three times around. Step, hop, step, hop, step, hop. One, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop. Two, step, hop. Step hop, step hop. Three. Awesome. All right, next to practice, we're going to be doing jump rope. All right, let's roll. Woo! Oh, we got six. All right, so 
I got my jump rope over here. If you saw my other and my other video in my house, um, just make sure that you don't jump rope under your fan. I never did that. But <laughs> all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out making sure there's nothing above us that we're going to hit. If you don't have a jump rope, that's okay. You can just do these standing on the floor. But I do, so I'm gonna use it. All right, so what was our number again? Oh, a six. Okay, we are gonna do jump roping on two feet together and then try a single leg. So we'll do two feet together. I'm gonna move my hoop back. Your goal is to try to jump as many times in a row as you can. So I'm gonna try not to take any little breaks in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whew. If you weren't as fast as me, that's okay. You can pause this video. I'll wait for you and we'll get back to single leg once you're done. All right, now we're ready for single leg. So we got six, so we're gonna try a total of three on each side. Again, our goal is to try not to take any time between each jumps, but that's really tricky. So if it's hard for you right now, that's okay. Just try your best. All right, here we go. I'm starting on my right leg. This one's a little stronger for me. I go one, two. Oh, I missed. Let's try again. Two, three. All right, I'm gonna switch legs. Here we go. And one, two, three. Whew. That leg was actually better. I thought my right leg was better. Okay. All right, next we're gonna do some single leg hops again, but they're gonna be really long. So I got number two. So I'm gonna try to hop as far as I can on my leg two times on a single leg. So since I only got two, one doesn't seem like enough to practice. So we're actually gonna do two on each leg. Okay, so I'm gonna start over here. My goal is to jump as far as I can on one foot forward. Jump, one, two. All right, coming back, I'm gonna switch legs. And one, whoa, two. Good job, you guys. Awesome. All right, next, we're gonna do some jumping. So, I have a hula hoop here that I'm gonna use. But if you had a mat or something that you could jump up and down off of, that would be even better. I don't have that here right now. So we're just going to use our hoop and jump in and out. All right. Oh, uh, I always forget this part. We're going to roll the dice. We got a three. So we're going to jump in and out three times. If you have a mat, you'll be jumping up and down three times. Ready, set, go. One, two. Three. All right, that was kind of easy. Now we're gonna try it backwards. So everybody turn around. Here we go. One, two, three. Awesome job. Okay, next. Ooh, do you guys remember that word assemble? We're gonna be using that now. So assemble is from one foot to how many feet, kids? Two feet. All right, so I'm gonna use my hula hoop over here to demonstrate this. So I'm gonna start outside my hoop. If you can see, I hope you can see I have my hoop on the ground here. And pink and white, it's great colors. All right, put your hoop on the ground. You're gonna point inside your hoop with one foot. You're standing on a single leg. Jump two feet inside the hoop. Now let's do that out. We're standing inside the hoop on one foot, two feet outside, okay? Now that you got a little chance to practice, let's roll the dice. Ooh, this is a good number for assemble. What's that, you guys? It's a six. So we are gonna do that six times. So here we go. Let's point inside the hoop and feet together. Point, jump, feet together. All right, let's do it again. That was only two. Point one foot, jump to two feet. Point one foot, jump to two feet. And one more time. Let's try the other leg just to switch it up a little bit. Point one foot, jump two feet. One foot, jump, two feet. Awesome job. Okay, our last thing we're gonna learn is what we call birdie soldier rockets. Some of you guys might already know this from class. But what this looks like, we're gonna add, start adding an arm circle to our hurdle, okay? So we are going to, when we stand on that leg, get ready for our awesome play. We're gonna put our arms out like a bird, all right? Just like this. Then when you go to two feet inside the circle, you're gonna put your arms down. Do you guys remember this, recognize this shape? It's our soldier shape. Then 
We don't want to stay too long in the circle, so we're going to bring our arms up to our ears and blast them outside of the circle. All right, let's try that. Practice that one more time before we do our reps. Here we go. So point one foot, birdie arms out, soldier in the hoop, and rock it out. Nice job. Let's see how many we have to do of those. All right, we got a three. Okie dokie. So this time we're gonna try to speed it up a little bit faster so we're not pausing between each part. We're gonna try to do a run right after the other. So here we go. Birdie, ready, soldier, rocket, and stick. Good job. All right, let's do two more. Birdie, ready, go. Soldier, rocket, stick, and one more. Birdie, arms out. Soldier, rocket, and stick. Awesome job, awesome job. All right, now we're gonna work on adding a full circle into our birdie soldier rocket, okay? So here's what this looks like. Let's go back to our hoop. We're gonna stand on one foot. Now, instead of just putting our arms down, when we go to two feet, or as we're going to two feet, we're gonna circle our arms behind us to get to our soldier position, okay? I'll show you what that looks like. So it's gonna be standing on one foot, our arms are out, we're going to circle backwards, soldier position. Okay, let's try that again. Ready? One foot, big circle backwards, soldier. Awesome, let's speed it up a little bit. Point in the circle, well, I almost fell over. Ah. Big circle backwards, soldier. Good job. All right, now let's add that into our um, birdie soldier rocket. We're gonna add the rocket afterwards. Okay, here we go. So arms out, point inside the hoop. We're gonna go circle, soldier rocket. Awesome. All right, now that we've practiced that, how many times? My dice. Six. All right, let's practice that six times. So remember our circle goes in front of us and then goes behind us to get to our soldier position, okay? All right, here we go. So I'll maybe do it sideways so you guys can see it that way too. All right, I'm pointing in the hoop. I'm going to circle my arms back, soldier, rocket, and stick. Good, that was one. Let's do five more. Birdie, swing those arms, soldier, rocket, stick. Awesome. And stand on that leg, arms out in your birdie. Circle those arms, soldier, rocket, stick. Let's switch feet just for fun. If you were standing on your right leg, now try your left leg or vice versa. Arms out, swing, circle, soldier, rocket. Awesome, we have two more. Here we go. Birdie, circle, soldier, rocket. Last one, last one. 30, circle, soldier, rocket. Excellent job, you guys. All right, our last one is to try that, but with a run into it. All right, so here is my spot that I'm going to land. Now, I don't have a huge run, but we don't really need a huge run for right now. But if you have a longer living room, you could run a little bit farther. But what we want to do is we want to try to get that circle to happen in the air before we put our feet together in the hoop. Okay, that's gonna be our goal. All right, so here's what we're gonna hopefully have it look like. All right, we're running, we're running. We're stepping into our birdie position. We're circling, soldier, rocket. Awesome. Now I did that a little slow so we could hopefully get all the parts. Let's do another slow one, one more time and then we'll try to speed it up. All right, pretending we're running. We're running, we're stepping into our birdie. Sing, soldier, rocket. Good, all right. Let's see if we can make it even a little faster. Oh, we're running and step, circle, soldier, rocket. Awesome, okay. How many times more should we practice that? Let's see. Six. I feel like this dice likes the same numbers all the time. But I mean, there are only five, or six to choose from, so I guess that does make sense. <laughs> All right, Mila, what do you think? This is my Capula. 
Am I doing a good job? Are the kids doing a good job? I think she says yes. Okay, run, 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 run. Birdie swing, soldier rocket in. We're sticky. Good job. All right, here we go. Let's do it again. We're running, stepping into our birdie circle, soldier rocket. Awesome, that was two. We have four more. Quick, quick, quick. Swing, circle, and stick. Let's see if we can do the last ones, last three, really, really fast. Run, 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 run. Step, circle, jump, and stick. Two more. Run, 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 step, circle, bounce, stick. Good job. One more time. Run, 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 step, circle, bounce, Whew, stick. Awesome. Can you guys guess what I'm pretending my hula hoop is? What's that thing that we usually bounce off of at gymnastics? It's called a springboard. So I'm using my hoop because I don't have a springboard here today. Um, but at gymnastics, we would be jumping off of a springboard instead, typically. We use the hula hoop to practice though, too. All right, guys. So our next section is going to be working on our handstand. So to prep for our handstand, we're going to first warm up our body. So I'm going to move this hoop out of the way. All right. And handstands are going to use a lot of upper body. So first, we're going to do some arm circles. We're going to do five. One, two, three, four, five. And other way. One, two, three, four, five. And crisscross. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Now we're going to put our hands together and roll out your wrists. You see what I'm doing? Rolling in a circle at gymnastics, we call this meatballs. Then we're gonna make some waves and make some paschetti. I have birdies outside my window right now. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna shake it out, make some cheese. All right, next, I'm gonna show you what you should do to stretch out your wrists on the floor. To stretch our wrists on the floor, you're gonna wanna place them flat on the ground and we're gonna move in a circle, just like this. Awesome. Now we did three that way. Let's do three the other way. One and two and three. Awesome. Next, you're going to try that side to side. One, two, three. Backwards. One, two, three. And our favorite zombie hands. Press gentle. One, two, three. Awesome job, you guys. Okay, now that our arms and our wrists are all warmed up for handstands, the first thing that we're going to practice is a Spider-Man handstand. So, I'm going to do my Spider-Man handstand on the wall over here. Make sure your wall is a safe space and then you've asked your big person before you try your Spider-Man handstand on it. You might have to wash your feet marks off. Mom sees or dad. <laughs> Alright, over here. I'm going to put my hands on the ground. Oh, guys. I don't know how long to do our hand, Spider-Man handstand for. Let's see. Woo! Oh, it does like this number. I got a six. All righty. Go over here. We're going to put our hands on the ground. Walk your feet up the wall as high as you can. And count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And walk out and come down. Excellent. All right, next is going to be what we call push-up shrugs. So, do you guys know how to shrug your shoulders? You shrug like this up and down. We're gonna try that in a push-up position. So what we're gonna do is be on our hands and feet. My shoulders are relaxed, but my body is straight. And I'm going to shrug, push up into, do you guys know what this position is? The turtle back shape and relax. Shrug, relax. If that's hard, you can try it on your knees, okay? Shrug, relax. Notice I'm not trying to bend my elbows when I do this. I'm just trying to move my shoulders. All right, how many should we do? Okay, no way, you guys. I got six again, I swear to you. Okay, all right, here we go. I'm gonna do three on my knees and three on my feet. Ready and relax. One, relax, shrug, two, relax, shrug, three. Up on my feet, relax, four, and five, six. Awesome. 
Okay, next we have bear runs. I bet you guys know what this one is. So we're gonna run on our hands and feet. Ready? How many times are we gonna do it? Please not six again. Okay, you guys, I got six again. I'm gonna roll again. We have to get a different number. Okay, I got it too. Awesome. All right, two. We're gonna do it two times. So I'm gonna put my hoop down again. This is gonna be what I'm gonna try to run around. We'll see, I'm kind of big. I think you guys are gonna fit a lot better. All right, ready, set, let's see if you can beat me when we do two rounds. And go! Look out, kitty! Wow! <laughs> she slowed down my time! <sighs> awesome. I don't know if you guys could see my cat, but she was in my way. <laughs> so if you beat me, it's definitely why. All right, next. We are going to do our three-legged dog hops. Okay, now this means that we're gonna have three points of our body on the floor and our fourth part is going to be up in the air. So it will look like this. Woo! My two hands are on the ground and one foot is on the ground and one is in the air. We should practice these on each side. So. I guess it would be okay if we got a six now, because we could do three and three, but. Ooh, I like this number better. It's a four. All right, you guys. So we're gonna go around two times with our right leg in the air and two times with our left leg in the air. Are you ready? Again, try to beat me, but also try to do a super good job. Ready, set, go. That's one for me. Oh, I got stuck. Oh, two. All right, now I gotta switch legs. Oh my God, catch my breath. I hope you guys are still going. This is a tricky one for me. Okay, two more on this side. Those are tricky. Whew. All right, what do we have next? Next we have donkey kicks. All right, so I'm gonna use my hula hoop to show where my hands are gonna go. We're gonna start in this position. What is that? It's a lucky lunge. You're right. All right, we're gonna start in our lucky lunge position. Our hands are gonna go inside the hoop. I'm going to kick my feet and try to stand back up to my lucky lunge. Here we go. Lucky lunge position, hands in the hoop, kick, and stand back up. Awesome. Let's roll the dice, see how many times we have to do it. All right. Three. All right. When you do this one, you can pick your favorite leg that you like to do it on. All right, ready, lucky lunge. Donkey kick, one, and back up. Two, and back up. One more, three, and back up. Awesome. All right, next we have two more things. Our next one is a donkey kick with a handstand hop. So what you're gonna do is when you kick your legs, you're gonna try to hop your hands. Now this one is kind of advanced. So if you can't get this one, that is a-okay. All right, you can keep working on your donkey kicks. But if you feel like donkey kicks are pretty easy, this can be a fun challenge for you. So. We're going to do our donkey kick and try to hop our hands when our feet go in the air. Now, I like to start with my arms up and circle them backwards because it gives me a little bit more of the feeling of doing a hurdle in a circle, which helps me get momentum as I go into my handstand. All right, arms up. I'm going to circle backwards. Donkey kick, hop those hands. All right, how many times should we do it? Okay, here we go, lucky lunge, circle, and hop. Awesome, I'm gonna give myself a little challenge, see if I can hop from the outside of the hoop to the inside. Ready, circle, and hop. Oh, I did it. Now see if I can hop from inside to outside. 
Lucky lunge, circle, and hop. Awesome. Your final challenge, and this one is pretty advanced too, but if you're feeling pretty good, you can try doing your handstand hop with your feet together. I'll show you what that looks like. This is just an extra bonus if you want to try. You can do your circle and feet together. Ta-da! Thank you guys so much for practicing your vault with me today. I hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun doing this with you. I'm sweating. Whew, my hair is a little crazy. Hope yours is too. That means you're working hard. So if you do this video and you like it, make sure to share it and hashtag virtualmhg and let us know what you want to see next. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.